left side. As a general rule, he's a much better hitter from the right side, but they're looking for him to come through here, swinging the bat left-handed. And he fouls this one off. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Hit to first. Desmond fields it cleanly. And he'll step on first himself for the out. Standing in, Jose Ramirez. No one aboard for him, and two gone here in the first. And no swing, apparently. Ball one. In there, one and one. One ball, one strike. Stroman steps into the windup. Here's the pitch. One and two as the changeup had him out in front there. Inside and a hair low. It's two balls and two strikes. Into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. Bases are empty here with two men out. And that's taken high for a ball. It's full now. Three and two. Looked like he tried to elevate a fastball on that 2-2 pitch there, but kind of overdid it. With a pitch that high, it's pretty easy. Oh. And the throw to first is there. The inning is over. Second inning set to go, and that'll bring up a man who's a human highlight reel defensively, Kevin Pillar. Kevin Pillar. First offering on its way. And the pitch. And he'll try to hold back the swing, but he'll do so unsuccessfully as that's ruled a strike. And he checked his swing, but it's a strike three called, and that's the first out of the inning. So the bases are empty with one man gone, and that'll bring in Jeff McNeil. Fastball too high to start him out here, 1-0. and Pitch is popped up. Santana waits on it. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. Now to the plate, Ian Desmond. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Pitch on the way. Desmond has had his trouble in these matchups, facing right handed pitching, that is, and shows a lot more prowess against the southpaws. And this one's too far inside, ball two. This at bat sets up really good right here, right? Hasn't seen a fastball yet. But now he gets to count at two balls and no strikes. He has to be looking for a fastball right here. High in the air and drifting out to shallow center. Hernandez has a play. Makes the catch and that'll retire the side. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And next to bat will be the first baseman, Pete Alonzo. Pete. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. There's a slider to start things out. Looked at for ball one. One and one. One ball, one strike. And it's one and two. To two balls and two strikes now. Grounded sharply, but right at that loaded side of the infield. And there's one down now. So digging in now, Carlos Santana. As the switch hitter will take his cuts left handed here. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Rounded weakly down the line toward third. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. And he'll try and tempt him with one in the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's 1 and 2. 
Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. One out, nobody on. And he looks at a sinker for a called third strike, and now there are two gone. Striding in for the Indians, Josh Naylor will try to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. And a good idea to hold off on that swing. It's ball one. Oh, my. This ball is crushed. Where will this one end up? And that one is... Into the box now, Jordan Luplo. The right fielder. As he grounds one briskly to short, Story scoops it up. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as this side is retired. Now with the play, Jorge Polanco. And he'll start out their half of the third, top of the order to follow. First offering on its way. And he'll look at a fastball that doesn't miss by a whole lot. It's 1-0. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2-0. Now the pitch. And this one's over at the knees. 2-1. Now a check swing, but he does manage to hold up in time. Ball three. Into his motion. Here comes the 3-1. and one. Pulled high in the air out to right field. Long run for the right fielder. He's there and records the first out. Back to the top of the order now. And that'll bring up the speedy outfielder Byron Buxton. Starts him with a good rising fastball there for strike one. Hey, if you're able to blow a first pitch fastball by a guy, got to believe that pitch is coming again right here. And now a curveball that bounces up to the plate. It's one and one. Who jumped the gun a bit on that swing? And he's down one and two. I know we want to focus on the offense and how bad they've been so far, but can we give some love to the pitcher? He has had these guys in the rocking chair all day. Here's one that misses inside, and the counts run full now. Three and two. Rymel Tapia will be next. Fouled off. Making him sweat out there. The seventh pitch coming up. And this misses for ball four. The second walk he surrendered here in the first three innings. Digging in for his second at bat. Rymel Tapia hit it hard but lined out in his first at bat. Yeah, Matty, but as he walks to the plate right here, he feels good building off that last A.B. He hit that ball on the screws. Pitch misses low. The throw down is not close as he's in there with a stolen base. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Hey, I don't mind that batter taking that strike right there. He's walked a couple people early in this game. Got to find out if he can find his zone. If he wants to walk them all in, we'll take it. Count is one and two now. Has a look. Now the pitch. Lifted down the line in left. And this will wind up a foul ball. The one two. Misses for the second ball. Runner at second here with one man out. And he tried to hold up that time. We'll get an appeal down to third, and no swing. It's ball three. And here's the three-two from him. And now in advance of a big three-and-two pitch, time is called at the plate as he'll press the reset button. Another full count pitch home. Great pitch there as he couldn't get extended on that one, and he's down on strikes for the second out. Riding in once again, Trevor Story, runner in scoring position with Sugan. 
Yeah, that last at bat, Daddy, he turned that fastball around. He didn't hit it a ton. He didn't hit it a country mile. But, hey, listen, a home run is a home run. Now a pickoff play at second. A dive, but he's back. Lays off again, and it's 2-0. and oh. I wonder if that homer rattled him a little bit. He's certainly a little bit more cautious against him this time around. Outside, 3-0 and oh now. This is a spot you like to be in as a good hitter. Runners in scoring position and count leverage in your favor. The Rockies shortstop in front with a 3-1 and one count. And that misses ball four, so it's first and second now with two out. And here's Christian Yelich now. Two on, two out for him here in the third. Here comes the first pitch. Cut fastball inside, ball one. Perfect time for a mound visit right here. Just give him a breather, a chance to collect himself and get back to work. Two down, runners at first and second. And this is a fastball that's right on the black but ruled a ball. It's 2-0 oh now. A time to start making some quality pitches. He finds himself in a tough spot behind an account with guys on base. And he lays off again. Ball three. Two on, two out with a base open here as a pitcher. You have to be awful careful. You just don't want to groove something here and give this guy a pitch and he can hit one out of the park on. And he misses again. Ball four. And that's back-to-back -back guys now that have reached base via the base on ball. A bouncer up the middle. And that'll get by into center field for a base hit. One run is scored. He's in at second safely as they take the lead with two runs scoring on the play. Well, he thought about going for third, and now that runner's in no man's land out there. And try as he might, but he can't escape the tag there, and the inning is over. To the plate now, Roberto Perez. As he'll come up empty there as he misses the off-speed pitch for strike one. This one's down to third. He's got it. And that's out number one. So one away here with the bases empty. Turn up to bat next to Lino De Shields. First delivery to him on the way. Pitcher wants to have a quick inning right here. Capitalize on the momentum his batters have. 2 and 0 now. Bunt attempt here as he gets this one down. Stroman is there and he makes the catch for the out. Into the box, Cesar Hernandez. He flew out in his last at bat. Stroman looks in. Here's the first pitch. Four to one's our score here in inning number three. That's lifted the other way out to left. Pilar's there. And that ends the inning. At the plate, Kevin Pillar. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. And that's in there for strike one. Hit on the ground out to short. Scooped up. Throw to first in time. One gone here in the fourth. So here's Jeff McNeil. He popped out in his first trip. Now here's the pitch. Knuckle curve down below the knees. 1-0. Drives it out to deep right center field. And that'll get down out there near the wall. And he's in there easily at second with a one out double. Now the first base. At the plate now, Ian Desmond. 
as the first pitch to him is taken low and away for ball one. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. Nope. Now a good pitch around the knees, but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. The 2-0 -oh on the way is taken. Strike one. Four to one our score as we play inning number four. Ball three. three and one now. You can really tell about how effective this guy's going to be when guys are swinging at that changeup. So far in this one, they've been real smart to let it go. Three and two now. And the payoff pitch. And that misses ball four. So with one out, that'll at least set up the double play possibility here that could get them out of the inning. The third base. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Jorge Polanco will stand in for the second time as he watches one miss low. It's a ball and no strikes. The 1 0. Checked his swing there, and did he go? No, he did not, says the third base umpire. Ball two. Now, time granted here at the plate as he'll step out of the box. Spin and a throw back to second. Oh, and it froze him, and they got him. And they've got the runner hung up between first and second. And now the tag is applied. It's a double play, and the side is retired. Bottom of the inning now. That'll bring up the switch hitting shortstop and perennial MVP candidate Francisco Lindor. Hey, we're still in the early stages and this one's only down by a couple of runs. But it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. Buxton is there. One pitch, one out. Digging in to try it again. Jose Ramirez comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Outfield shaded toward right center. Here's the first pitch. Good swing. Just got to try and straighten that one out. A swing by Ramirez, and this one soaring to right field. And out of here. And I mean by plenty. That ball was crushed. Up next, the power bat of Pete Alonso. A bouncer to the left side, and that finds its way through for a base hit. So now Carlos Santana, as he pops the first pitch foul behind the plate. One in, one out, and one on here in the inning. Swing and a miss, and he's in the hole 0-2 now. So far in this game, he's the only guy in the lineup that's gone. And it's belted high and deep into right center. And, oh, he missed a home run by a matter of feet. It's off the wall. The relay, and he is safe at second base as he legs out a double. The left field, number 31. In now, Josh Naylor. As he pops the first pitch foul behind the plate. Perhaps he can drive another one out of the park just like he did back in the second. Here's a breaking ball, but it doesn't quite find the strike zone. Took something off there as this pitch is in the dirt, but handled quickly behind the plate. And it's two balls and two strikes now. Don't expect too many more high fastballs in this one. He is known for his sinker, keeping the ball on the ground. Now a swing, and the barrel of the bat breaks in two that time. Throw in time as he's called out on a bang-bang play at first. So stepping in, Jordan Luplo, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. First pitch on its way. Lays off 1-0. Two runs, four hits. No errors to this point for the Indians. Line to the right side. And that's through into right field for a base hit. The runner from third comes across to score as they try and chip away at their deficit. It's now a 4-3 ball game. Standing in now, Roberto Perez. And there's a line drive. Base hit to left field. And to score from third is the tying run. It's a 4-4 game. 
the better fielder, number double zero. And here's the second generation Delino. big leaguer, Delino DeShields. And that's going to fall for a base hit. And that'll score the go ahead run from second to make it five to four. The batter, number seven, second baseman, Jason Hernandez. Stepping in now, Cesar Hernandez. Ground ball sent back up the middle. The tag, and they'll get him at second. And with that, the side is retired. Digging in, Jorge Polanco. He'll start things out as we begin the fifth. The third baseman, Jorge. He's ready. Here's the first offering. In there, strike one. Well, he's still out there to start the fifth inning, but it's been a real grind of a start for him. The pitch count is much higher than he'd like it to be, so it's hard to imagine him working really deep into this game. Yanked high and deep down the line in right. And it's a foul ball. The one-two. Hit back toward the mound. And this is going to get on through into center, a leadoff hit. The center field is 25. Driving up there. Now a quick move here to step off and look the runner back. Now the infield shifts into a bunt prevent formation. No surprise with the speed that's at the plate. So that will bring in Byron Buxton as he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. 0 for 1 with a run scored thus far. Now a ball lined to the left side. Foul. Here's the 0 and 2. And he looks at a ball one and two. Count is one and two. On the ground is short. This could be two. He's right there. Hernandez at second. On to first. Not in time as he just hits the bag ahead of the throw. So one gone in the one inning here with the runner at first. And striding into the plate next will be Rymel Tapia. the stretch sent in the air out to straightaway central De Shields is there he's got it and there are two down now so two are gone in the Rockies half of the fifth and in to hit next the power hitting shortstop Trevor Story now a throw over to first runner back safely Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And he tries to hold back on the swing, but I think it would have been ruled a strike anyway. It's nothing in one. In the dirt here. Good job keeping it close as the count goes to one and one. Has a look. Now the pitch. A runner on first with two away. Runner! There goes Buxton. He is well behind the play. That's an easy stolen base. And he'll reach first as they can't make the play on him. Ready once again, Christian Yelich. And we'll see what he can do here with a pair of runners on base and two gone here in the fifth. And a high strike to begin the at bat. It's 0 and 1. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. 
and 2 here it is wastes a pitch on the knuckle curve there one and two big spot right here that's a great pitch to try and see if you could get him to fish outside the zone he's still in the driver's seat right now and I'd expect something else to miss off the plate maybe getting a little jumpy in the box so he steps out and asks for time well with the power bat up at the plate the manager wisely signals his outfielders to back off don't want anything over their heads here right side fair ball down the line he pulls into second safely as a run comes across to score on the play tying the ball game that'll bring up Tony Walters as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one he's working on a one for two game so far now a spin and a throw back to second and the runner back safely Five runs, five hits. No errors in the ballgame for the Rockies thus far. Hey. Oh, can't spot the cutter any better than that. Nothing in two now. Definitely a big pitch coming up right here. He's going to be pumped if he can work his way out of this inning with the game still tied. High in the air out to center field. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Ready for another shot now. Francisco Lindor. He'll start things out here in a tie ball game. And a fastball misses here to start the at bat. It's 1 and 0. That's a good take on a fastball out of the zone. Hey, I get it. He's looking for a ball to drive, but that ball was a little bit too far up in the zone. That's one you normally pop right up. Indian shortstop behind 1 and 2 in the count. That's count 1 and 2. Started to chase there. He'll appeal it down to third and no swing. It's ball 2. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. Okay. Not a time to fool around right now on a 3-2 count with the middle part of the order coming up. Expect a good pitch to swing at. A swing and a drive to center field. That one's got a chance. A ball that's carrying. But he can't get it as it's off the wall. Now that. The third baseman. So now to the plate, Jose Ramirez, as he rips it on the ground to second. Throw on to first in time, one away. So a runner at third here with one gone, and up steps the power bat of Pete Alonso. And this pitch is taken on the inner half for strike one. And the slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. A man at third with one away. Hit on the ground to third. Reined in. Throw in time at first for route number two. Here's Carlos Santana now. Now that the first baseman. Carlos Santana. Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Fastball too high to start him out here. One and zero. Oh. Santana in front with a 2 0 count. We're starting to see a lot more balls from him now, and that's a direct result of him getting hit around pretty good. He's trying to do so. Well, obviously not biting on the first two, so it looks as though they'll just go ahead and wave him down to first base for free here. So. Riding in, Josh Naylor comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. James Pazos trots in from the bullpen here as he inherits a tough spot with two on and two away. Not even close on that swing. No balls and a strike. 
Not close with that one. It's way above the strike zone. Runners at the corners, two men out. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Pilar's there. He hauls it in, and the potential go-ahead run will not come around to score. Top half of the sixth about to get started, and that'll bring up a man who's a human highlight reel defensively, Kevin Pilar. First pitch on its way. 1 0. And a strike to even the count. One and one. Pitch on the way. Checks his swing here, but he does so in time. If he doesn't shorten his swing up right there, there's no chance he keeps his bat back. A shot to second base and handled for the first out. Digging in and looking for more, Jeff McNeil. A hit in two at-bats for him at this point in the ballgame. First delivery to him on the way. And through five and a third, already coming up on 100 pitches here. Yeah, Matty V, this pitch count continues to go up, up, up. Near 100 pitches here. He's not even through the sixth inning. And Mark DeRosa, this is right where you'd like to have a pitcher like this guy. Yeah, absolutely. A lot now of stress it. pitches for him, you know. Usually you can throw 100 pitches, and if you're not taxed and there's not people in runners in scoring position, you could be all right. But he's, he's had to grind this one. Ian Desmond is in with two away as he takes a ball, 1-0. 1-1 oh. one and one to the Rockies' first baseman. That's a pitch he'd like to have back. You're not going to see very many pitches like that from a pitcher of this quality, I'm sure. He now a rocket deep down the line in left. On to the home run porch and gone. Nick Whitgren, a six foot two inch right hander, jogs in to take over on the mound. Your attention, please. Now pitching for the Indians. Number 62, Nick. To the plate now, Jorge Polanco. As the first pitch to him is a changeup that can't find the zone. It's ball one. Now that ball is smoked, carrying the deep left. Naylor has to retreat to the track, but he has it to retire the side. of the sixth inning now and next it'll be the outfielder Jordan Luplo and he misses inside with that one ball one Pazos is among a dying breed those lefty specialists whose roles are changing with the new rules around reliever usage but quick reactions at the hot corner take away a hit and there's one gone first offering on its way Roberto Perez stands in for the third time now as he takes a look at a ball it's one and oh Swing and a miss looked like the slider there. A ball and a strike. Bases are empty. One man out. A one and two count to the Indians catcher. In the dirt but swung on and missed. And he makes the throw to first. Perez is retired. Two down now. Stepping into the box. Delino DeShields singled home a run in his last time up. Behind on that one. Now behind in the count. 0-1. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. One and two now. Two out, nobody on. And a check swing here, but he holds up far too late as it's strike three, and the inning is over. So the lineup flips over and digging in. Byron Buxton, 0 for 2 on his line thus far. 
He's ready. Here's the first offering. Inside, ball one. The 1 0 home. Aye. Hard liner to center field. And there's a base hit, so maybe some insurance here to lead off the seventh. The back, number 15. So they'll go to the bullpen now, and it'll be the left-hander here to face the upcoming left-handed batter. At the plate now, Rymel Tapia. As he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. Garrett Hampson will come on to pinch hit now with a runner at first and nobody out. Strike two swinging just out in front of the slider. Good speed at first and good speed with the guy at the dish. Going to be tough to double up these guys. If you're an infielder, got to get rid of it quick. Protecting with two strikes. Went out of the zone that time, but he stays alive. Nobody out, runner on first. And they'll ask him to bunt off the bench as he puts this one down. To second for one. Relay throw, but it'll be too late as he's well safe at first. Now at the plate, Trevor Story. He went down on strikes last time up. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Hard ground ball to third. Ramirez is up with it. On to first, and there are two down. So a runner at second. Two down now. And up next, the sweet swing and left-handed hitting outfielder, Christian Yelich. A throw behind the runner at second, and he'll dive back in safely. Well, with the power bat up at the plate, the manager wisely signals his outfielders to back off. Don't want anything over their heads here. Trying to jam him with the first pitch slider, but it's in a bit too tight for ball one. Obviously, the game plan wasn't to let this guy beat you right here. He's already walked twice, and that pitch out of the zone tells me they want nothing to do with him. And this one runs a little too far in, ball two. Just never could commit to the swing there, but he went around, and it's even now at two and two. Now a look and a throw back to second, and he is tagged out here. Boy, a bad mistake that. Last half of the seventh here, and that'll bring in the second baseman, Cesar Hernandez. This thing's far from over, even though we're moving into the back end of this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy, and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. One out now for the Indians in their seventh. And with it comes Francisco Lindor to the plate. No balls in one strike. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Yelich is under it. Two gone. Settling in now, Jose Ramirez. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Tried to golf at it, but he missed strike one. Now a fastball that's taken close that time, but it's one and one. Two and one to Jose Ramirez. Bases are empty here with two men out. All even now, two and two. Neither guy willing to give in, and the at bat will continue. The 2 2. Swing, and there it goes. He got all of that ball. That one is out of here. This game is tied. Now that. So here's Pete Alonzo as the sinker to him finds the zone for strike one. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. And it's fouled away. Now a 
foul tip held on to behind the plate. Nice work there to get the punch out, and the inning is over. Ready to begin the eighth, and that'll bring up Christian Yelich. The right fielder, Christian Yelich. First pitch on its way. Hey. Oh, one's the count. The wind up and the 0 1. Started to go around there. Looked like he held up in time. No. Strike two, says the third base umpire. One and two for Christian Yelich. Yeah, and if you get a guy flailing at a pitch like that, heck, you're going to go out there and throw that same pitch until he proves he can lay off of it. Fastball just inside. A little late with the swing, but he stays alive. Still two and two. And every pitch so crucial in a tie ball game, so he'll step out and ask for time. The 2 2 one more time. Bounced on the ground and right at the shifted infielders. And he'll step on first himself for the out. Striding in for the Rockies, Tony Walters. He's working on a one for three thus far. Line drive to left. Uh, this will hang up just long enough to be run down in shallow left for a tough second out. In now for Colorado, Kevin Pillar. Hit the ball pretty well in his last at bat, but it resulted in a line out. Yeah, Matty, it's always a little frustrating when you square one up. You hit a solid line drive like he did. And all you have to show for it is a jog back to the dugout. That can get in your head for a little while. There's a swing, and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. Around first, he's digging for second. Not quite out of here. It's off the out-of-town scoreboard. Now that number six. Jeff McNeil will be the next to take a turn. As he'll lay off a slider too low, ball one. It's his job to get something into the outfield and give that go-ahead run a chance to score from second. One ball, one strike to count. Go-ahead runs in scoring position here with two down. Oh, looked like he was towing an anchor there, one and two. Just inside, not by much. It's two and two. And the slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. And before the big 3-2 pitch, time is called at home plate. Here's the payoff pitch. Now that's popped up. And this will not be caught. It's a foul ball. Payoff pitch on its way. Lifted in the air out to left. Left fielder is on the move. And he brings it down to end the inning as the go-ahead run is left stranded. Bottom of inning number eight set to go. And here comes the first baseman, Carlos Santana. Carlos Santana. From the stretch. Good slider there, but laid off and called the ball low. Good spot to be in right now as a hitter. Count your favor, 1 0. Good time to get a fastball and turn it loose. Now the 2 0 home. This is in the air out to right. Yelich is under it. One away. He'll get to this one deep in the hole. In now for Cleveland, Josh Naylor. First pitch on its way. Now a check swing, but it's strike one anyway, says the home plate umpire. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's one and one. Grounded back up the middle. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. And they'll have no play as he reaches first base safely. Runner at first following the error. And standing in the outfielder, Jordan Luplo. 
Michael Givens comes on now and he's just hoping to keep this thing tied no save opportunity here he's set and the pitch well, that's down. the 1 0 it's laid off but in there for strike one And here's a slider for a cold strike, and he's behind one and two now. Givens, a native Floridian. He throws a four-seam fastball, a slider, and a changeup. High in the air down the right field line. Under it is Yelich, and there are two away now. So striding forward now, Roberto Perez. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Now a change up, but it misses just a little below the zone. Oh, and he took a big swing at that one as this is driven out to deep left center field. It's gone. They've taken the lead in the eighth. In now, Delino De Shields. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. He sat. Here's the 0-1. That's over, but low. It's a ball and a strike. Two out, nobody on. In there, one and two now. Here it comes. Softly hit toward the hole. Oh, and he can't come up with it. No matter, number seven, second baseman. Into the box, Cesar Hernandez. As he'll take a look at an off-speed pitch here that misses for ball one. Struggling so far in this one and looking run, run, to run. erase his 0 for 4 ball game right here. Pitch misses low. The throw down. And no throw, in fact, as he'll just hang on to it. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. one gets away and he's going to make it up to third here as he advances on the wild pitch too high ball four and they're at the corners now with two away big spot here runners at the corners two gone that'll bring up the switch hitting shortstop and perennial MVP candidate Francisco Lindor Ben Bowden enters here looking to get the final out before the ninth inning. Strike one to start the at bat. Runners on first and third, two away. Ah, his eyes lit up on that one above the zone, but he comes up empty. Changes up on him, but that's in the dirt for a ball. Well, that's a smart miss there. Sometimes guys will chase it down there, especially when they're in protect mode on an 0-2 count. Two balls and two strikes to count to Francisco Lindor. Started to go. Did he hold up in time? Yes, says the first base umpire. It's ball three now. Lifted out towards straightaway center field. Buxton is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. Giovanni Gallegos takes the ball now in inning number nine, looking to close the door. Now batting, Ian Desmond is coming off a solo homer in his previous trip. Looking for base runners here as they're down two playing on the road. Not an easy thing to do trying to score runs or bunch hits together off of a closer. One ball, no strikes to count. And a fastball runs a bit inside. He's down 2-0. and And that's in there, 2-1. and 
one of the best ways to keep a guy uncomfortable is to pound him inside. They're doing that, and this one caught the zone. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. Stepping up now, Jorge Polanco. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. First pitch of the at bat. One out, nobody on. And a fastball here that's taken for ball two. Two balls, no sir. He pulls this one high and deep to right center field. Gone! Into the box now for Byron Buxton. As he'll take a look at a pitch too low. It's ball one. As we near the end of this one, I think it's safe to say that the story of the game. Has undoubtedly been the long ball. Guys, what do you think about what we've witnessed? Well, as a former offensive player, I absolutely love it. Kudos to both lineups for doing absolute damage today. One of the most fun watches of the year. You know, Dero, what this shows me is this new age way of guys going up there and they're swinging hard. You need to make good pitches, quality pitches. And if you don't have command of the fastball, you're in for a long day. And we saw that here this afternoon, a ball flying out at near record pace. And it's up to a 3-2 full count now. And a big pitch coming here late, so he'll step out and ask for time. Now this one is blasted to left field, and there's no doubt about it. Back-to-back -back jacks. And that'll bring in Garrett Hampson. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Ryan McMahon will get a shot here as a pinch hitter. Ball and a strike. Hit the target, but this is low, two and one. Somebody's getting frustrated. He's not used to getting hit around like this. There's a swing and a high, deep drive headed for the right field corner. And that's going to wind up hooking just a bit foul, so a missed opportunity there. Stung into the gap in right center for what should be extra bases. Legs churning. He's headed for second. And he is in the second base with one away as the go-ahead run. Up next to Colorado, the Copa, Trevor Thorne. Ryan Valade will come on now and pinch run here. And that brings in the power hitting shortstop Trevor Story as he'll take strike one on the inside corner. A ball and a strike to Trevor Story. The one and one pitch. For the guy on the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. 
holds off on the slider, and that's a good idea as it's ball four. Stepping into the box, Christian Yelich, one for two in the ball game thus far. Andrew Miller takes over on the mound in a tie ball game. There is one gone here in the top of inning number nine. Here's the first pitch. Good fastball down around the knees there, taken for a strike. That's the exact spot to lean on as a reliever. As a hitter, you just have to tip your cap and look for the next one. A ball and a strike now. The one and one pitch. Fouled away. Now the one and two pitch. Checked his swing there, and did he go? No, he did not, says the third base umpire. Ball two. And prior to the 2-2, two -two, he'll step out of the box and ask for time. Swing and a miss, and they'll dodge a major bullet that time. Two away. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Tony Walters. And we'll see what he can do here. Two on, two away, two home so far this inning. No balls and a strike to count. High in the air out to center field. DeShields is there. And the inning is over. Digging in the switch hitter, Jose Ramirez. Two home runs already to his name in this one, and we'll see if he could possibly strike again. Out in front of it, strike one. The 0 1. Hit sharply toward the right side. Yelich is there, and that won't help the cause. It's a quick out here to start the home ninth. So now it'll be the four-hole hitter, Pete Alonso. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. Change up too low, and it's 1-0. and oh. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2-0. Oh. And now pitch on the way. Checks his swing, but this pitch is right there for strike one. And a pretty good take there on the slider down. It's ball three. On deck, Carlos Santana. A drive to left. Get out of here. Get out of here. Gone. They win it. Santa Maria. Everybody wants to be a hero and hit one of those walk-off game-winning home runs. So you know right now when he's getting mobbed by his teammates, he has to feel awfully good. And they did some damage offensively in this one, enough to get the win, and this man led the charge. He's our top player of the game. Yeah, he came through with a multi-hit game, and more importantly, they were big hits. He was a key contributor to the outcome of this one. A close one, 9-8 to eight at the end of the game in this one. The Cleveland Indians came through when it mattered in the ninth on the way to the win. Andrew Miller earns the victory on the mound. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com.
the final line score for this afternoon's ballgame.